Hello guys, it's Edward Time here. Welcome back to another movie review. And today we are going to be reviewing John Wick Chapter Four, um, which is obviously has uh, the the fourth part of the John Wick franchise. You know, um, and yeah, a lot of people are hype about the movie. You know, let's start with that. You know, um, and yeah, I was also hype about John Wick Chapter Four. You know, when the first trailer came out, I was like, wow, I really cannot wait to see uh what john wick franchise did you know because this franchise is insane you know with the action and stuff like that and obviously uh keanu reeve is just amazing as john wick you know um and yeah we're here in the fourth movie you know nobody would suspect you know john wick become a, a big franchise you know but here we are with a fourth movie that you know they all pretty much go all out you know with this uh with you know with this chapter you know um so obviously john wick chapter four tell a story about you know john wick try to gain his freedom once again uh, by challenging uh, Marky de Gramon, which is uh, Bill Skarsgård character, you know, um, and obviously to, in order to do that, he has to do like a duel with the high table, you know, which is an old tradition, um, and obviously that's where the story goes, you know, like John Wick goes to like Osaka, you know, Berlin and Paris, you know, um, and yeah, this movie has uh, many different locations, set pieces, you know, which is something that uh, we are expecting with the John Wick franchise, right? Um, and I would say this, this movie felt like an, an improvement over Chapter 3. Uh, mainly because, again, there is some substance to John Wick Chapter 4. You know, be, and, of course, there are many side characters that are actually lovable and likable. You know, and it's great, you know, because in Chapter 2 uh, chapter two and Chapter 3 focus a lot on John Wick, obviously. And don't worry, he, like, obviously this one is called John Wick Chapter 4. So, like, yeah, he's still the main focus, obviously, but... Chapter 4 has so many other side characters that you actually care about, you know, and I, that's why I think the runtime was so long because so many of these characters has their own backstory, you know, and there has their own, like, resolution and stuff like that. Um, and again, there is an improvement over Chapter 3, you know, because Chapter 3, like, barely has any new character. Um, like, the adjudicator is fine, you know, it's just not that great, to be honest. And then, obviously, uh, Zero, played by Mark Dacascos, is, like, the best part of John Wick Chapter 3, in my opinion. Um, and in this one, obviously, Donnie Yen is the best part of this, about this movie. And then also, Shamir and Anderson, who plays uh, Tracker or uh, Mr. Nobody, you know. And then you got Hiroki Sanada. And then, obviously, you got Rima, uh, sorry, Rina uh, Sawayama, I think, right? Uh, and yeah, it's, it's great, you know, to have all these side characters that actually likable, you know. Do you actually give a shit about the, all of them, you know? Um, and yeah, and it's just like, again... With all these new side character, I think the runtime is uh, earned, you know. And I know that that's the like the big concern about John Wick Chapter Four that the runtime is too long. It's nearly three hours long, you know. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I kind of felt the runtime a little bit, you know, but it's not enough to make me hate the movie, you know, um, because I realized that all this runtime is necessary, you know, for for this movie because again, you have many characters, you know, that obviously all their story is gonna be connected by the end of the movie, you know. And I think. It's great, you know, by the time you get to the end of the movie, it actually uh, felt worth it, you know, to see all of these characters, like, get to know them. Like, Kane played by Donnie Yen, you know, and then obviously uh, Tracker played by Samir Anderson. And, you know, and of course, like, you got um, Shimazu Koji played by Hiroki Sanada, you know. He's also really great, obviously, in the movie. And then you got Akira played by Rina Sayawa, uh, Sawayama, you know, and it's like, yeah, it's it's really, really great. To get to know these people, you know, as a character, obviously, um, and you actually really care for them, you know. Um, but besides that, of course, we gotta talk about the action sequences. You know, the action is great. You know, um, like the movie kind of starts slow, in my opinion. You know, because it doesn't start with action immediately. There is a little bit of an action, you know, in the beginning, but it's a tiny bit, you know. And after that, like the movie pretty much like set up all this new character, you know. And I think that's great, you know, because it kind of remind me of the first John Wick movie that it didn't it, like it didn't start with an a big action sequences immediately you know um and in this one they start with a little bit just a tiny bit of an action you know um but that's it you know that's not until like maybe like 20 to 30 minutes in you know where we see or like we met all the side character that uh actually become really relevant later on and then we get to the osaka continental you know and that's where the big um uh, pretty much the first big action sequence is happening you know and then i think it happens for like what 20 to 30 minutes i think I don't, i'm not exactly sure how long but it is long, you know, because that's what John Wick is, you know, when action sequences happen, it doesn't just, like, you know, come and go. Like, it, it actually really, really just uh, stays with you. And that's what the the Osaka Continental was, you know. Like, you have so many different set pieces in that hotel. And you have so many, um, you know, fights in that happen, obviously. Like, you got a fight scene with a sword, you know, like, like a samurai style, you know, because, of course, Japan, right? Um, 
with Hiyori Kisanada and obviously you see John uh, John Wick uh, using a nunchucks, you know, like Bruce Lee, obviously. And it's like amazing, you know, it's a combination between nunchuck and gun, uh, gunfu, basically, you know. Um, and it just, it just keeps going and going and going, you know. And I was like, wow, this is great, you know. Um, and yeah, the choreograph uh, is also amazing, you know. Um, and of course, that uh, the set pieces, you know, in the hotel was really, really just amazing in my opinion. Like, because you see the, a bit of the... Uh, continental set pieces in the chapter three you know in new york you know but now you are in osaka so obviously the location is like different and it's just like really really charming you know and to me this is like the the gorgeous looking movie you know because like this is probably the best looking john wick movie in my opinion and i think uh chad stahelski and then the cinematographer uh uh dan lawston does a great job you know on the cinema cinematography because every single shot in this movie is amazing you know it's actually really just like it could be like an art you know like you could just like screenshot it and then you post it on on your i don't know like your wall or something like that it's it's great you know um and every single shot is like white but also like really really beautiful to look at you know and i, I when i was sitting on theaters i was like wow every single shot was really really beautiful man <laughs> and yeah this is easily the best looking john Mc movie so there's that um and obviously after this uh that osaka continental action sequences we get the, the other action sequences in berlin you know this is where we met uh, Scott Atkins character Killa, you know, um, and yeah, he is also great in this movie. Although I will say this, I think Scott Atkins in this movie is focusing more on his performance than the than the fight scene, you know, because he has a fight scene with John Wick, you know. But I feel like for me, I was like, I don't know, I feel like they didn't really utilize Scott Atkins that much, you know, and that kind of like disappoint me, uh, because when I first saw the fight scene, I was like, yeah, it's great, it's good, you know, it's not bad, it's good. But I was like expecting more from Scott Atkins, you know. Um, but I feel like they're really just focusing him uh, here on the acting, on the performance by Scott Atkins, you know, instead of like the martial arts uh, sequences, you know. And he still does a he he still have a fight scene, obviously, kind of like similar to uh, Sam Hong fight scene, you know. So I, 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 it's still great. Sorry, it's still good, but it's just like I don't know. I'm expecting more from him. Um, so there's that, and obviously we get to see. Um, uh to paris you know this is where we get to see the action sequences with the the car you know where john wick or keanu Reeves doing his own stunt there and it's gr the greatest action sequences ever you know and obviously there is a this other action sequences happen in paris you know where you basically saw the camera sh uh on a, from like a bird eye point of view i think and then the camera just like follow john wick from room to room you know for like two to two to three minutes i think um it's actually felt like a video game to be honest and i really meant that as a compliment you know because again there is so many like different levels in this uh, movie you know there is uh, several mini bosses that jomi has to fight and it's great you know and obviously besides the bird eye view you got that twice you know um but that's just really special for me uh anyway because not, not only that it, it, it all happens on one take it also features one of my uh favorite music from john Wick one you know i'm not gonna tell what it is but once the scene starts, you know, you, rem you remember the, mu the music from John Wick 1, you know, that actually very, very iconic, that they actually play it again here in John Wick 4. I was like, wow, okay, this is, this is great, <laughs> you know, this is, this is hype, you know, um, like you see everything in one take and then you see the music from John Wick 1, I was like, ah, great, <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, um, of, of course, like the, of course you got, uh, Marco Zara as well, you know, which is, uh, play Chidi, which is, uh, Marky, uh, Right hand man basically and i would say this the marco czar is actually uh quite menacing in this movie you know especially in the paris you know action sequences you know when he obviously fight against john wick it was actually amazing you know to see just marco czar just like move really fast you know and then it's just like wow he is he's actually really just uh you know like a formidable opponent to john wick you know and it's just like wow this is this this is great <laughs> you know to see him a couple of times in this uh, movie it was like wow great man uh and yeah um as for the side character i know i i, pra I praised them before but i feel like, i feel like we're gonna get another um spin off with uh, this other uh character you know because again you got a uh, shamir anderson who plays the tracker or like mr nobody um he's a great character he's a fun character to you know to to watch obviously and i'm really hoping they do like a spin off with him you know in the future hopefully and then obviously you got donnie yen who plays kane you know and uh, rina sawayama who plays akira um i really hope that kane got his own spin-off you know eventually in the future maybe and maybe like maybe like a prequel who knows you know to see what happens to kane's eye maybe um but yeah it's just great man like all these sad characters that i, I feel like they really kind of like setting up for 
a spin-off in the future, you know. And again, I think Chad Stahelski does come out and say that they're going to lay low from now because I think him and Keanu are done with John Wick uh, franchise for now. But they do say that if this movie, um, you know, if people really, really love this movie, then maybe they're going to consider going back to John Wick Chapter 5, you know, which I'm probably going to be discussing that in the spoiler review, you know. Um, like maybe next week to, to just to let people watch the movie first, you know, um, what could be Chapter 5 for me. But yeah um and as for the ending i know that some people said that the ending is like you know a bit controversial and stuff like that like i don't know i feel like to me the ending really fits with john wick's character in my opinion you know um and it does uh have a good uh you know like a good resolution at least for me you know um i don't want to speak for everybody here because i don't know how people will feel about the ending but for me i was fine with it you know i mean there is a little bit of my I was like mm, really you know but at the same time when i think of like a bigger picture i was like oh okay this ending actually makes sense you know and and that's why i i, I feel like my reaction was like you know mostly positive to the ending you know so i was like i was fine with it you know but i'm really curious to see what what other people think about the ending specifically uh, maybe some of them actually loving it or, or maybe some of them are actually gonna hate it who knows you know because i feel like it's probably it's probably not gonna be the the vibe the franchise hope oh, sorry the fandom you know the john Wick fandom hopefully not but it's definitely gonna get people talking for sure you know um but yeah guys that was my review for john Wick chapter 4 it's great you know great music as well forgot to mention that by tyler uh, tyler bates and joel j richards you know and of course this movie felt like the most different among the other john Wick movies you know because john Wick 1 to 2 and 3 is like it felt like it felt like the same movie you know but in this one like yeah it's still like kind of felt like the same movie obviously but it's, it felt the most different for me because they're going bigger this time by exploring the high table uh, further, you know, and exploring the rules and stuff like that, you know, and it's like, yeah, I mean, they this movie really de delivers in my opinion, and I think like uh, some people might criticize the movie for being a bit too long, you know, but I personally find no problem with that because again, there is so many fun side characters to have and just spending time with them, you know, without John Wick is actually really great in my opinion, and I think we're gonna get a uh, more spin-off in the future but i guess we'll see guys um but yeah once again that's my review for john wick chapter 4 have you guys watched john wick chapter 4 let me know in the comment section below uh what do you guys think about the movie you know um and if you guys enjoyed this review then leave a like comment subscribe share the video the usual stuff you know um and yeah guys stay tuned for more videos in the future again i might do a john wick chapter 4 uh spoiler reviews in the future just to discuss what i think about the movie clearly obviously and then um you know discussing what's gonna be chapter five if it was possible for the future uh but yeah guys that was my review and again uh hopefully you guys will enjoy this movie obviously um i think it's gonna be a great time for most people and for you who are, for those of you guys who hasn't you know like being a fan for john wick that's fine you know i'm not calling you out or anything but just please be careful for like from saying your opinion you know because obviously it's gonna create an argument in the comment section and i don't really want that you know Yes, that's just don't don't be toxic okay just chill if you don't like john wick then that's fine you know <laughs> nobody's forcing you to like it so just calm down about it but yeah in the that's my review guys and again i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this review and i will see you guys in the next one then bye